Judy, our second case is an odd one. Police in Arizona thought that they had a serial killer on their hands because 20 human limbs had been found near Prescott, Arizona, and then an additional five human heads had been found by the county line, okay? So naturally, your first thought is, what in the world is going on here? Do we have a serial killer on our hands? The other thing is that when police found these body parts, they found at both sites something that looked like medical gauze and incontinence pads. That, to me, is like the really weird stuff. I know you're probably thinking a human head is not weird. It is weird. It is weird, but in the crime business, right, it's, it's mm-hmm. everything else. So it turns out that it is not a serial killer, but rather a man who used to own a cadaver business that provided research facilities with specimens, meaning when you donate your body to science— Mm -hmm. He had the business where he collected the bodies for science and then he would then sell them to scientific labs. Well, apparently the business went under and Mm. the owner needed to dispose of these extra bodies. Now, it's still not clear if this is the answer, but this is what police think happened. The guy needed to get rid of the bodies and this was his best plan. If his business just went under, he's probably not thinking straight and because this is not a good plan because businesses like this already have a plan in place to to dispose of human remains. It's part of the business plan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a Seattle man has now been arrested. Police say that he drove down to Arizona with five medical cadavers and then he hid them and and the remains all over the woods. Walter Mitchell, 59 years old, was arrested on December 29th, 2020 in Scottsdale, Arizona and booked on 28 counts of moving human remains with the intent to conceal or abandon them, according to the sheriff. Mitchell owned a company in Seattle called Future Gen X, which managed cadavers for research, and it had recently closed. Mitchell allegedly left Seattle with the remains of five individuals, and the sheriff said, now, this is interesting, the sheriff just retired. He literally retired on January 1st, and and he says he's just glad that he was able to make an arrest in this, because as you can imagine, it was very frightening in the very beginning, Mm. not knowing, not that this isn't frightening, and not that this isn't disrespectful to the people's whose remains those are to the people whose remains those are and to their families, right? Mm -hmm. Who donated their loved ones to research. I, you know, I guess what I'm trying to figure out just from a psychological point of view, I mean, do you think it's possible that the guy whose business just went under, I honestly thought that this was the best plan he could come up with? I mean, like you said, this, disposal of human remains or I guess in this weird case these are the products the inventory of his business that should have been thought of before anything happened but maybe he didn't have a plan maybe that wasn't part of his business plan and so it sounds like the company went under and he had extra sad to say this but for his business it's kind of inventory it's product And he decided this is the best way to get rid of it because I don't know how else to do it. But it kind of feels like maybe he could have talked to his colleagues, maybe other people who own businesses like his. What do you do when you have extra inventory? Maybe call the county, ask for any kind of advice. And he just kind of took it upon himself to just go and scatter them in different places, believing that this was a way for him to dispose properly. And that is really sad. I mean, I think the... The silver lining is we don't have a serial killer on our hands and they're running amok and we don't know where they are. But the sad thing is, as you mentioned, these wonderful people and their families who donated the deceased to science, and this is the way that their bodies are treated, their heads and body parts are just being littered all over America. No, it's not. And in fact, this is what the sheriff said. He said, quote, the situation is unimaginable. And I am so sorry for the families whose loved ones were donated to research and treated in such a horrific fashion. It's, it is it is an injustice to their memory. It really is. It really is. And he couldn't have been thinking straight because it's just, it's a stupid plan. Well, and one last thing I was thinking of is maybe he's thinking this, 
I have to save money because obviously his business went under. I mean, he could be near bankruptcy. And so he's thinking maybe there was a proper way in his business plan and he knows what he's supposed to do. But he's thinking, well, I'm going to save some money. I don't have the money to do this properly. But it sounds like he's been cooperative. Thank goodness. He didn't resist the arrest and he pretty much copped to everything he was doing. So... Yeah, it's a very, very strange one, a very strange one, but we really wanted to include it this one. 